Well, hey guys, welcome back. So it seems the Microsoft has decided to push an update for Windows 10 that removes uh, the Flash Player from your system. Now, not only does it remove it, but if you have the update installed um, and you try to install the Flash Player after that, it it lets you go through the the installing, but nothing really happens. It just fizzles out. Unfortunately, you can't remove it in a normal way. As you can see here, if you try to try to remove it, it says it's required by your computer it cannot be uninstalled. You should be able to get rid of it. It's just a little bit tricky. So, I guess I'm going to show you how to do that. Hopefully, now this is a little bit risky because we don't know what they're going to do in the future. But like I said, it, it's listed as optional, so it should be okay. Now, how do we go about getting rid of it? We'll see. These updates have uh, files that are installed with them. They're .mum files. And these files have all kinds of weird information. So what we need to do is we need to go to, uh, let's see, Windows. We need to go to the Windows folder. And it's under Servicing. And uh, Packages. And this is where you'll find it. Now it's a little tricky to find. You have to look look, look for uh, the KB update number, which is four five seven seven five eight six. Seven seven five eight six. Now there are three of them in the package. I know I only have two listed here, but there's three because I, I went ahead and changed one of them. So I guess it's not going to show up now. But what we need to do is we need, need to go in here with Notepad and we need to change. Uh, where is it? There's a lot of different stuff in here. See where it says permanence equals permanent. We need to change permanent to removable. Now the problem is if we just do that, if you try to save it, we don't have high enough authority to to do it. It kicks us off with an error. Yes. So you don't have permission. We don't have a high enough authority. So what we need to do... Yeah, don't say if it's not going to work anyway. So what we need to do is... Let's go to Properties here. Um, security. We'll just click Edit. We're just going to do a quick and dirty way. It's, it's not really the recommended way, but we're going to do it anyway. And we're just going to say... Uh, everyone. And we're going to say full control. Alright. Now we need, need to do this for all three of the, the mum files. Click edit. Add everyone. Click on it. Full control. Yes. Okay. Now, we should be able to edit now. Just go through, find permanence, and change it to removable. And it's probably important to spell it correctly. <laughs> I'm not the best speller in the world, so... Okay. Now oh, it's saved. If you click Save As, 
it will probably come up with a .mum.txt file and you'll have to rename it. So just click save and it should be alright. Change permanent to removable. Uh, find my cursor, click save. Okay. Alright, now that that's done, all we need to do is go through and remove the update normally, like we normally would. So, we'll go to settings. Um, should be here somewhere. Update security. Uh, update. My system's lagging a little bit. <laughs> it's a really old computer. Alright. Um, view update history. Uninstall updates. Now, if, if this worked, we should be able to uninstall it from here. Uh, removal. Let's see what we have. Uninstall. Yes. This might take several minutes. Because we want to be as annoying as possible. <laughs> so you don't do this all at all the time. Now, the only problem with this is if you remove the update, it well it depends on how Microsoft has it set up. But it looks looks to me like they really want to get rid of the flash player. So I think that if you remove this that update will just find it again and reinstall it. So what you'll have to do is we we need to hide it. Now Microsoft made a tool that helps you hide um, updates, but they removed it from the download and only only left tools that temporarily let you hide them they come back now after this um, flash removal update I went and checked out the download page and it, it you can get to the page but they removed the download so you can't download it directly from them so what I did was I made a, uh, a zip file and I put um, the version of the Flash Player that I'm using. Uh, I included the, the files so that you can uh, copy them over to uh, Pale Moon. The, the, these are the... They don't exactly match up to the version of Flash Player we're using. But since it's kind of like separate, it, it doesn't really matter that much as long as they work. And this update doesn't remove those. So... If you followed the Pale Moon video I made, it should all your Flash stuff should still be working in the browser. So, if that's really all you need, you don't really need to remove the Flash player because it works without it. Okay, let get rid of it. Now, let's see. Now see how I have updates pending? If, if I can get my computer to work. Thank you. Okay. Now if Well, I might as well show you since I'm here. This is all the stuff I have in the uh in the download. Now this power run thing, I decided not to do it, but it's there. It, it, it's supposed to let you um, do things at a higher authority than administrator. But 
it turned out I didn't really need it, but it's it's in the um it, it's in the zip file anyway. Just just in case. Now this is the hide tool. Now the thing is it won't show you updates that aren't on the update list. It only shows things that are on the list, at least as far as I can tell. So what this does is it it brings up all the updates that you have pending and you can choose to hide them if you want. And this prevents it from installing later on. So you just click hide updates and it'll bring up a list of all the and then you make a check mark and click next. And you should be good to go. Now now the thing is, um if you install the update and it tries to install it again, there's not really any way to stop it once it's in the list. So once it's on your list here, then run the hide tool and then hide it. And it'll probably install. And then you'll have to go through this again and remove it again. As long as you hit it, after that, it should be okay and you should be good to go. Once we're there, we can just um, install it. Let's see which ones we want. I guess this one. There's different versions here, so depending on what you're doing. Currently installing. Never check for updates. Not recommended. Since this is version before the kill switch was put in, um, you want to pick don't update. Now, if you uh, did the wrong one and you need to tell it not to update, then go to uh, control panel. You can see flash here, and you click on it. Uh, updates. See, after you do that, you can you can change it to never check. And then you're good to go. What that that'll do is it'll prevent it from updating to the version that has the kill switch on it, and the kill switch just shuts it all off. So that should be good. You should be good from here, for now, because we don't know what they're going to do in the future, because they really, really try and hard to to get rid of it. So we'll see how it goes, and as more problems come in we'll have more things to to work through so well good luck and happy gaming and i guess i'll see you guys next time